Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. We'll take a look at the temperatures from today, and we did have that cool down, and in some cases, it was more significant than I even thought it was going to be, but I don't think we'll get a lot of complaints out of that. We turned what, was, what were numbers basically around, you know, 95, 98, uh, down into the middle 70s up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. 77 in Santa Cruz, they were around 95, 96 yesterday. So, yeah, uh, anywhere from 10 to 25 degrees of cooling. 90 Morgan Hill today, so a little a bit of leftover warmth, certainly. 86 in Gilroy. 70s, though, Aromas, Wattsville, Coralitas. Remember, Wattsville is right around 100, so again, that dramatic cool down, southerly surge, bringing the low clouds, the fog, and the cool air. 87, King City, so even the Salinas Valley had a pretty good cool down, so uh, yeah, that was nice, and we'll see more of that tomorrow. 77 PG, 81 Monterey today, 80 in Seaside, so again, it was still very mild, and if this was just, you know, one of those warm days, uh, not included from yesterday, the day before, we'd say, yeah, that was, that was beautiful, but after triple digits, uh, it was a lot cooler. 79 in Tahoe today, still 90s in the Central Valley, a mix of 70s and 80s along the coast, and those numbers were all cooler as well. Area of low pressure down in Southern California, still spinning, kind of spinning itself out, really starting to see less clouds and less moisture with that, but still a few showers going out there this evening, but most of it, again, uh, over the deserts and the inland areas. You can almost see that river, that southerly surge that was working up the coast, uh, earlier today and last night and those leftover low clouds just kind of banked up into Santa Cruz as I thought they might and the Santa Cruz mountains never really fully cleared uh, so they were the benefactors of most of the cooling and of course most of the low clouds are still a bit of it down along Big Sur coastline and then a big swath out here this will all kind of fill in later tonight we have a cold front on the way. So not only did we get some cooling because of the southerly surge, now we're going to turn the winds around. We're going to deepen the marine layer. Winds will be light overnight. Tomorrow morning we start off with low clouds for everybody. Could even be some patchy drizzle along the coast with a deep marine layer. And then see this wind shift here? That's the northwesterly wind coming in tomorrow afternoon. That will bring more cool air. It will also eventually mix the marine layer out, but that won't be until Saturday. So we kind of have a 24 hour period with a lot more of the low clouds. You can see by Saturday morning, the breeze is in, northwesterly 10 to 20, so it's breezy, it's cooler, and just some leftover low clouds Saturday morning, and I think by Saturday afternoon, we're pretty much cleared out with probably just some puffy cumulus clouds up over the hill. So it'll be nice over the weekend, but it'll be a totally different feel than what we had the last few days, which was obviously summer heat. Now we're going to go into some fall cool. 50s to around 60 overnight, some patchy drizzle possible. The next nights on Saturday and, and Sunday nights, they'll, they'll be pretty cool. We'll probably see some 40s. But for tonight, mostly middle and upper 50s to around 60. So we're still kind of scouring out all of that leftover heat. 68 to 74 tomorrow, so another drop in temperatures at the coast and more cooling for the valleys as well between about 72 and 80 degrees. Partly cloudy skies, so we're getting a lot of clouds coming and going tomorrow. 66 San Francisco, 72 Oakland, 77 in Los Gatos, San Jose about 76. And a whole bunch of 70s here, Santa Cruz Mountains over to Bonnie Dune and Boulder Creek. 72 Capitola, about 74 in Santa Cruz. Around Watsonville, 74 Aromas, about the same Coralita. So you can see temperatures are kind of evening out between the coast, the valleys, and the hills. Some 80s still possible around Gilroy and Morgan Hill. That should be the last day of that. And then in the Salinas Valley, it's more 70s than anything else. We could see some 80s south of King City. And around the peninsula, we're back down to some 60s to around 70 degrees. Again, with the low clouds and that breeze picking up in the afternoon. Your KSBW eight-day forecast. This takes you into the weekend. 60s for most, a few low 70s still possible in some of the spots along the bay. But we do have a good bit of sunshine on Saturday and Sunday. And that should hold through the early part of next week with 60s and 70s. The valleys and hills for the weekend. Look at that. The 70s are almost gone, right? It's just 60s to low 70s to middle 70s possible Saturday and Sunday. And those temperatures pretty much hold through early next week, and then we'll warm up a little bit. As I said, if you're traveling up into the Sierra, they could see some rain and snow showers over the weekend. So summer's uh, kind of leaving the building there for a little while. I mean,